Welcome back to another video. Watch out football fans and Swifties alike. Taylor Swift is about to reveal the details of how she met the man who has everyone's attention on the football field, Travis Kelser. This story is about to get juicy as a ripe summer peach, so grab some popcorn and your favorite Taylor Swift album. From glamorous meetings to shocking run-ins, Taylor has inside knowledge of how destiny contributed to the union of these two formidable personalities. So take a seat, unwind, and let's dive right into Swift and Kelsey's coincidental story. But before we begin, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. It's completely free and greatly aids us in producing fresh content for your entertainment. The story of the whirlwind romance between pop sensation Taylor Swift and the legendary tight end Travis Kelsey is what has everyone talking. Amid the chaos of the NFL hold on to your hats, people, because this power couple's origin story is one crazy ride. You may be wondering how these two famous people found love in the middle of their busy lives. Fear not though, as we have the inside scoop on how Swift and Kelsey began their illustrious romance. So fasten your seatbelts, break out the popcorn, and get ready for the incredible story of how these two titans of their respective industries came to know one another. Now, let's get started. After Kelsey's revelation on his New Heights podcast with his brother Jason in late July, the two people first became acquainted. In the podcast, Kelsey talked about making a friendship bracelet with his phone number on it when he saw her perform at Arrowhead Stadium in the beginning of July. After learning that Swift was not participating in meet and greets, Kelsey expressed his disappointment and expressed his wish to meet her at the concert. Kelsey was seen giving friendship bracelets to people around him while seated in a candy box. On his podcast, Kelsey expressed his emotions, saying, I was disappointed that she doesn't talk to fans before or after her shows because she needs to save her voice for the 44 songs she performs. I was there a little disappointed that I was unable to give her one of the bracelets that I had made for her. According to Kelsey, a lot of Swift's followers knew who he was and that he was rooting for her. I had someone playing Cupid, he said to the Wall Street Journal magazine. The story was further enhanced when it was revealed that Swift had personally spoken with Kelsey and confirmed this sentiment. After the Chiefs, kindly let Swift use their locker room as her dressing area. Kelsey disclosed that Swift's family was taking pictures of him in front of his locker. According to reports from People, they first made their relationship public in October. As they say, the rest is history. Kelsey went on to say that some of Swift's family members actively helped him get her attention. I know she will be upset with me, but when she first arrived at Arrowhead, she was given the large locker room to use as a dressing room, and her young cousins were taking pictures in front of my locker, he said. In Swift and Kelsey's romance, the identity of the Cupid is still a mystery, because given their common acquaintances, a number of people could have been able to link the football star and the singer. Actor Miles Teller, who is friends with both Kelsey and Swift, is one potential contender. In 2022, before the American Century Championship, Kelsey went golfing with Teller and Patrick Mahomes of the Chiefs. Furthermore, Teller had previously starred with his wife Kelly Spear and Swift in her I Bet You Think About Me music video. Additionally, in May 2023, the couple went to New Jersey for Swift's AAS tour, which also included football player Aaron Rears. Additionally, a notable connection to the Kansas City Chiefs is revealed via one of Swift's backup dancers from her AIST tour, Colin Saunders. A football player, Saunders is the brother of Cameron Saunders, who gained popularity during the concert for his vivacious bejeweled dance routine. From 2019 to 2022, Colin and Kelsey were teammates on the Kansas City Chiefs, establishing a direct connection between the football community and Swift's tour. NFL broadcaster Aaron Andrews is another person who could help Swift and Kelsey find love. Actually, in an August podcast episode, 
Andrews encouraged Swift to think about dating their mutual friend Travis. Swift was bolstered by Andrews, who gushed about Travis and said, Taylor, I know we're not the best of friends, we're not even friends, but I consider you one. Sex with this guy is encouraged. Take us up on it, for the good of America. In an appearance on Late Night with Seth Meyers, Andrews discussed this podcast moment again, in the wake of Swift and Kelsey's eventual romance, with a humorous undertone. She implied that her support was crucial to their romance, saying Travis was very open about not getting to meet her. We were being quite open with each other because we adore him. His buddies and I were like, Taylor, go out on a date with this guy. We threw it out there, and they got together. And of course, we're getting all the credit now, she continued laughing. I mean, he's good-looking, he's just such a great guy. And because of their cupid, Travis was incredibly appreciative. AAS. Soon as Swift reached out to Kelsey, their journey together officially began. Recalling their first conversation with WSJ magazine, Kelsey reflected on how Swift had described the situation that prompted her to initiate contact. After exchanging letters, the two made plans to meet in person in New York. Looking back on their first date, Kelsey said she was sure they could have a nice dinner and conversation. Their blossoming romance gained attention when Swift openly supported Kelsey during his Kansas City Chiefs football game at Arrowhead Stadium in September 2023, raising hopes that whatever happened next would happen organically. But Swift disclosed in an open interview with Time that they had already gotten together, providing insight into the development of their romance. Swift said that they started dating soon after Kelsey made fun of her on his podcast, which she hilariously referred to as metal as hell. I'm grateful that we were able to spend a significant amount of time together without anyone knowing, as it gave us the opportunity to truly get to know one another, she said. Although some might have thought that our first public appearance at that game marked our first date, Riley continued. We would never be brave enough to debut our relationship at such a public event. To add to the elucidation, Kelsey stated in February 2024 that they had been dating for about a month prior to Swift going to her first game. I in order to show her the love she deserves, he lavishes her with affection gifts. Fans have even shared videos and tweets of him and Swift acting goofy together. Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey possibly watching garbage reality TV together is so powerful. Someone commented, The fact that he's evolved into a cute Swifty is another addition. Singing Taylor songs mid-conversation, Travis is just like us, someone commented. Even though Taylor Swift might not have been wearing a necklace with Travis Kelsey's initials on it, she still made a big statement by wearing his team's logo. Swift was there to support Kelsey during the AFC Championship game, which the Kansas City Chiefs won 17-10 over the Baltimore Ravens. Although her outfit was simple, she accessorized herself with jewelry to show her support for her bow. Swift entered the field after the Chiefs' victory and guaranteed their spot in the Super Bowl, where she and Kelsey shared tender kisses in front of the cameras. Wes, the girlfriend's jewelry, and the singer's whole wag were all noticeably shocked. She mentioned that among her hair accessories was a necklace adorned with the chief's emblem. The pizza place that Aaron Andrews's former Bobble Bar 44 was sporting featured Chief's Kingdom etched on the back of the pendant, providing a concrete representation of Swift's steadfast backing of Kelsey and company. Don't worry though, Swift did actually wear Kelsey's initial around her wrist rather than her neck. Stress and Anti-Hero Song featured an improved version of her friendship bracelet made of beads. This custom bracelet, which was made for Swift in her Pennsylvania hometown, was painstakingly crafted by Woe and Michelle I. West. It now has diamonds on it and features the initials TNT for Taylor and Travis, and for a starting price of $568, Fans can customize their own versions by adding their initials. Additionally, 
A complimentary bracelet was made especially for Kelsey, according to the brand's Instagram. A sweet homage to the couple's inception story, in which Kelsey tried to give Swift his number last summer, while she was visiting Kansas City on her AYS tour.so. What are your thoughts? Are these two intended to be inseparable? Tell us in the comments section below. To be the first to see my next video, please click the bell icon and subscribe button if you enjoyed this one. Thank you.